How do you smudge with a smudge stick? Do you take it apart or what? I found that a lot of people are confused by how exactly to smudge with a bundle of sage or a smudge stick compared to loose sage. Today I'm here to get rid of all of that confusion. All of your questions about smudging with a smudge stick will be answered in today's video. Hi there, I'm Mallory. Welcome back to the Tribal Trade channel where we share new videos every single week about smudging, indigenous culture, native teachings, and more. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. How is smudging with a smudge stick different from smudging with loose sage? If you purchased or received a smudge kit as a gift, the sage inside of the smudging kit is likely in the form of a bundle. Smudging with a smudge stick, whether you made it yourself or not, is a different process than smudging with loose sage. If you're someone who wants to do your sage cleanse with a smudge stick, but you're not sure how to light it well or keep it lit, I've put together these six steps on specifically how to smudge with a sage stick. There are many different ways to smudge and everyone has their own style. So feel free to use this video as a foundation and get comfortable with learning what feels best for you. Let's jump right into the six steps for smudging with a sage stick that I've organized here for you today. You're gonna be 100% confident on using a bundle of sage to smudge and I promise you it's all super easy. It just takes some time to set aside and have the right intentions. The first step in smudging with a smudge stick is to either make it yourself or buy one. So the first step is to source your smudge stick. Remember what I said about finding what feels best for you? This is the first example on how you can do that. It's up to you whether you wanna make a smudge stick yourself or to buy one. Why might you want to make it yourself? By making your own smudge stick yourself, you can customize the medicines inside the bundle exactly to your liking. You can add flowers and herbs to make it entirely your own. This is a big draw for a lot of people, especially those who are more experienced in the practice. Now, why might you want to buy a smudge stick? First of all, buying a smudge stick instead of making one is definitely easier. It allows you to start smudging sooner. When you make your own smudge stick, you have to go out and source long branches of sage so you have enough material to make what you need. With a pre-made smudge stick, you've got everything for your practice right in front of you. Now the second step in smudging with a smudge stick is to prep your sage stick and your other materials, whether it's a smudge kit or other items that you have for your smudging session. Before getting started, it's so important to prepare your materials. The last thing you want is to have your practice interrupted because you don't have what you need. Make sure you have a bowl handy in case you want to set your sage stick down at any time. I don't recommend setting it down directly on top of any furniture. When you're smudging with loose sage, it's pretty obvious that you'll need a fireproof bowl or abalone shell to hold your sage. But when you're using a smudge stick, this factor might not be as clear. That's why I recommend getting everything in place before you start. This way you can focus your mind on the task at hand, which is your smudge ceremony. Now the third step in smudging with a smudge stick is the same step when smudging with any type of sage, which is to set your intentions and focus on them. This is arguably the most important part of the smudging ceremony. Ask yourself, what's the reason that I'm smudging today? Your reason is your intention. And what your intention is gives your smudge the power that it holds. Some people smudge in order to rid a space of negative energy. Some people smudge simply to clear the air of unwanted feelings or emotions. Some people smudge to welcome a new season. Some people smudge to wipe the space clean of bad energy after an argument. Everyone's reasons and intentions are different. Just make sure that you know yours. If you don't know what to say during your smudge, you can get a personalized smudge prayer based on your specific needs. I'll put the link for that down in the description below. Have you ever smudged before? Do you prefer to use a loose sage or a smudge stick? Let me know in the comments. All right, now let's keep going. There are still three more steps that coincide with smudging with a smudge stick. The fourth step in smudging with a smudge stick is to light the sage bundle. If you made the bundle yourself, there's a benefit to this. You can intentionally make the bundle looser so that it's easier to light. 
Sage is typically easier to light when it's looser because it's easier for the air to reach the flame. Sage sticks are known for being hard to light and to keep them lit because they're wrapped so tightly and the flame dies out quickly, which can be disruptive and annoying to your smudging practice. The fifth step in smudging with a smudge stick is to smudge your feather if you have one and then smudge yourself first. Sometimes when you smudge, you might not have a feather and that's completely okay. You don't need one for your smudge to be effective. This step is where having a smudge bowl to place your smudge stick in will be super helpful. With the bundle in the bowl, you can waft the smudging smoke around yourself very easily and help this step go off without a hitch. Now the sixth and final step in smudging with a smudge stick is to smudge your surroundings. The last step involves smudging your surroundings. The difference in this step when using a bundle is that you have the option to hold the smudge stick itself rather than the bowl or the abalone shell that you would be using if you were smudging with loose sage. Some people like this better as it feels like more of a tool, but in the end, it depends on you, whatever feels right for you. Don't forget to let the sage burn out on its own once you're finished. This is a crucial part to a successful smudging ceremony. Whether you're new to smudging or you want to get started on your own practice, there's no better place to begin than on the Tribal Trade Co. website. We have everything you'll need and more to create an awesome smudging practice for yourself. In order for your smudge practice to be as successful as possible, you're going to need the right tools and the right guidance. If you haven't already, download our free smudging guide to help walk you through your smudge while doing it. And learn about the other sacred medicines too, which is also included in the guide. Check out our website for everything that you'll need related to smudging, from abalone shells to sage and everything in between. Do you usually smudge with smudging stick or loose sage? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.